Hi everybody, my name is Antoinette and welcome to Board Game Inquisition, where today you're in for a bit of a treat as we have a special episode of Baking with Board Games. And today we're going to be making the incredibly delicious macaron. Not to be confused with a macaroon, a macaroon bar. These are real live macarons. Today we're baking macaron gift boxes for the royal family and guests because it's King Louis's birthday. I hope you have your ingredients ready to bake along at home. Preparation time for macaron is quick. Cooking time is 20 to 30 minutes depending on game length and it serves for one to five players. Prepare your ingredients before you begin. To start the game you'll have a deck of cards numbered one to 10 in seven possible delicious flavors. Our final aim of course with the macarons is to win tricks by playing cards of a higher number of the same flavour against our opponent. After shuffling the right amount of cards together until well combined, because it varies at player count, you're going to want to deal a hand of 13 cards to each player. Set these aside. Meanwhile one player will fold in the royal flavours. These will be the trump cards for the round, which means they always win. And another player will add the allergen flavour. These will give you zero points when used in a trick. Now, using the scoreboard provided, which you might want to sharply tap the bottom of to release any air bubbles, you bid on the number of successful tricks you think you'll make. Bake macaron for 13 tricks, or until 8 gift boxes have been completed. Set aside to completely cool until you reach either 10 or 20 victory points. So now that we've put our macarons in the oven, let's try some I made earlier. So how do they look and feel? Well to be fair this game is adorable and very polished right from the outset. It's got bright colours, it's very inviting. And much like a macaron it is certainly short and sweet. But I think it's the kind of thing that will make you come back to try more and more again. So, is this game actually any good? Well, Macaron isn't really reinventing the wheel here. If you've played a trick-taking game before, you know, those games where you play cards in numerical order until you kind of empty your hand of suits, um, then you're going to be familiar with this one too. And to be fair, I think if bridge and such like that are your jam, I think this is a great addition to that genre. But there is a little bit more going on here um, and I really love those additions. So firstly, somebody gets to pick what the drum card is at the start of a round. Very, very cool. But also somebody gets to choose the allergen flavour, which cancels out the victory points you could get during a trick. And I think there's a lot of strategizing to be done here um, and a lot of kind of interpersonal play that the game wouldn't have had necessarily without it. Um, not to forget that this is a very beautifully produced and very lovely looking game. And for sure, if you want something deep and strategizing, you're not going to find it here. This is kind of a light and fun and quick game. I think that would work great with families. Um, its only drawback, of course, is the number of cards you have to hold in your hand and sort it each round. I found it a little bit cumbersome from time to time, but I think that's the nature of most of these type of card games. Um, so was it fun? Yes. Is it the type of thing I'd normally play? Probably not. Would I play it again? Absolutely. So if you want something short and sweet that's delicious and that doesn't overstay its welcome and of course leaves you coming back for more bites then I really think you should be checking out Macaron. Do I think you should have Macaron in your collection? Well I think you should be checking it out if you're a fan of trick taking games with a little bit of a twist or if you want something beautiful, fun and quick to play with family and friends. You've been watching War Game Inquisition. If you have any comments or queries you'd like to make about this Macaron video why not leave them in the comment box below? Mm. And of course, if you like what I do, you could always like or subscribe to the channel because you can get updates about my future videos. So, tune in next time for more short and informative board game reviews. Um. I think it's mango.